At Gatwick Airport, a flight has just touched down from Port of Spain in the Caribbean. UK border agency officers are out in force with the aid of drug detection dogs to stop illegal substances from being imported into the country. Just lower your bag, please, for the dog. While sniffer dogs assess the passengers' hand luggage, officers are on the lookout for behavioural indicators. Hello, sir. Quick customs check. See your passport and ticket, please. Travelling with anybody else today? Thank you. What's the reason for your visit? Here on some other business too. What's what type of other business? I'm into I'm out the market. Right. So I'm looking sourcing foreign news parts. Right. There are certain cars in Trinidad that parts are hard to come by, you know? Especially older European Sniffer dog Jesse continues to check passengers coming off the flight, but the officer hasn't finished with the car mechanic just yet. This you know, is a customs controlled area. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have anything to declare as customs today at all? Uh, well, I have um, my suitcase. Yeah, you've got your suitcase as well. Yes, yeah. Are these your bags? Yeah. Did you pack them yourself? Yeah. So you're fully aware of the contents? Yeah. Has anybody asked you or forced you to bring anything into the country for them? No. no? You know it's legal to bring in drugs, weapons and things like that, yeah? OK. And you know about your duty-free allowances? Yeah. Cigarettes and alcohol. OK, so quick look through. Can you just take a step that way for me? OK, thanks. Officers have a very short window of opportunity to stop drug smugglers coming into the country. Intuition is vital in stopping suspicious passengers. Feels like there's an area in here. I'm just going to cut into that. OK. Yeah. After tearing into the briefcase, it doesn't take long to make a significant discovery. I've just found what I suspect to be cocaine there. So I'm arresting you on suspicion of being involved in the importation of a controlled drug. So you don't have to say anything, it may harm your defence. If you don't mention when questioned, it's mentioned later on in court. Anything you do say may be given an evidence, do you understand? Okay. With the inner lining of the briefcase stuffed with a white powder, officers suspect they've intercepted a drug seizure worth thousands of pounds. Just turn this one off. The passenger will now be detained and taken to the custody suite for further questioning. At Birmingham Airport, one of the daily flights from Dubai has just landed. As passengers collect their luggage from the reclaim area, Officer John is observing two men travelling together who separated as they came through immigration. Yeah, he's just, he just brought his stuff out. I thought he was on the moon. It's suspicious behaviour. So John decides to stop the first of the passengers as he comes through the customs channels. Hello, sir. Where have you arrived from today, please? Dubai. Dubai. Can I just see your passport, please? Thank you. You're travelling by yourself today? Yeah, man. Yeah. Just been away for holiday? Yeah, just six days. How long were you away for? Six, seven days, man. Six, seven days? Yeah. Visiting family? Yeah, man. Yeah, what family have you got? Why well, ask? I've oh, been stopped already, man. Yeah, and no, I'm just... Uh, fortunately, this, on, is, this, this is the way we do things. Yeah, yeah, OK, hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing in here, man. No, no, don't, don't open it yet. Time. No, yeah, but I need to ask the questions first. Oh, God, so this is your bag, yeah? Yeah, this is my bag. Did you pack it yourself? Yes, yes. Are you aware of the contents yes, of the bag? Yes, yes, yes. OK. Yes. Are you carrying anything for no, anyone else? No, 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 no. OK, are you, are you aware that there's certain things you yes, can't bring yes, into England? Yes, 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 Such as controlled drugs? Yes, man. Firearms? Yes. Weapons? Firearms, you know, are you mad? Weapons? In decent obscene oh, material? Come on, man, just open the bag, man. I want to go, Look, man. Listen, I'm asking the questions. Oh, OK, man. are you aware oh. of your allowances that you're allowed to bring in, such yes, as cigarettes man. and alcohol? Yes, So do you have anything to deny the customs? Nothing at all, man. Nothing at do all. Your thing, man. OK, yeah, so the sooner I do this, the sooner we can all finish, OK? John becomes concerned by the man's aggressive nature and his claims that he's travelling alone. Hello. You could just stay off your phone for me as well, please. OK, you need to look what I'm doing and you need to cut the phone call, OK? You need to cut the phone call. You can't have phones in the area. Yeah, I'm relaxed, OK? And the sooner we get this done, the sooner you can be on your way. OK? Excellent. I'm just wasting your time, man. Not wasting anyone's time. Yeah, put it on, help yourself. As the man becomes more and more erratic, 
John suspects he may have something to hide. There you go, look, I'm even folding them for you. Who's asking you to fold them? I know, I'm just trying to be pleasant, aren't no I? If, I, if I'm them, pleasant, right? you can be pleasant. With every step of the search causing an argument, he may be oh, here a long fold time. Fold okay, then. I'll just leave it there for you. You can do what you like with it. At Gatwick, the man arrested on suspicion of smuggling cocaine in a briefcase has been brought over to the airport's custody suite. Having been caught red-handed, he started changing his story. When we took him to his cell, he said that uh, the satchel was handed to him by somebody else at the airport. He was asked to bring that through. So this isn't his case. But then he already told me that it was his earlier on. Um, we made the arrest because we found a package inside, um, which is in the front here, in the front wall, and in the back wall. Um, earlier on, I cut into the front one. So what I'll do now is just remove some of that white powder from my knife. Just goes blue. And it's... Yep, there we go, so it's gone blue, so that's positive. That should be cocaine. With their suspicions confirmed, the drugs in the briefcase will now be assessed and weighed before the passenger's story is formally investigated. Um, there was only five envelopes in there. Um, and now I've taken those out, it's still quite heavy. You can feel that the walls are quite wide. There's no need for them to be that wide. You can feel that there's something in there, front and back. The back section is quite well done, though. With regards to stitching, you can't really see Anything wrong with the stitching? It's just literally how thick it is. The courier himself, I don't know how much money he would have got, maybe uh, a thousand, two thousand pounds, perhaps. Um, but then the risk of getting caught, you know, losing out on all the money, um, it's quite high as well. The briefcase was found to be carrying over two and a half kilos of cocaine with a value of more than £125,000. In Birmingham, Officer John is still searching the bags of the man who seems to have left his manners in Dubai. What's in here? Nothing much, Nothing much. tell me what it is. Flavoured. Say again? Open it, it's in for yourself. The man is being deliberately vague about his tub containing shisha tobacco. So what do you do? Do you eat it or drink it or...? Uh, you chew it. For flights outside the EU, passengers are allowed to carry just 250 grams of loose tobacco. The tub is four times the allowance. So what is it like, uh, sugar or t tobacco? Uh, that's only one, isn't it? I'm allowed to carry one. Yeah, I just wonder what else. I've never seen it before. It's only one. I'm only carrying okay, one. I'm just going to leave it there for a second. That's it, mate. Nothing else? No, nothing else. Please. You got anything in your know. pockets there? No, you want to search? I've already been searched. You want to search me no, again? No, all I wanted to do was asking you about your, your jeans pockets, that's all. But despite his assurances that he's carrying nothing else, a further item is found in his suitcase. OK, what's that in there? That's probably um, girl's food, isn't it? I've got a product in the bag from a girl, isn't it? So it must be... What do you think it is? I don't know, that's what I'm asking you. With the man being evasive, John suspects he may have discovered an illegal substance. Okay. Just don't oh, say anything, right, OK? Man, that's the packs, man, what the girls want for their periods, man. OK, just like I say. You guys getting excited for no reason, you know? Just calm Don't get excited, man. Look, am I, am I getting... control drug. Do I look excited? Get out of here, man. Yeah, that's cocaine, isn't it? That's, that's, cocaine. That's, that's what I can check, isn't that's it? Cocaine, that's what I can check, it? OK? That's not cocaine, So I'm just going to go and check. So you stay here with this officer. All right. OK, keep calm and we'll be back out. A sanitary towel is taken away to see if it's concealing drugs. Meanwhile, officers have intercepted the passenger's suspected travelling companion and confiscated more than 12 kilograms of loose tobacco. Do you still want to complain, yeah? The results on the sanitary towel show no traces of drugs. I don't give it to me, man. It's cocaine in it. You keep it for, for souvenir yeah, side. Officers suspect the man's performance may have been an unsuccessful distraction tactic to prevent his travelling companion from being stopped. 
just the type of character he was. Some people just don't like dealing with officials, and, and he was one of those. There you go, sir. Yeah, Thanks very much. Have a nice day. Gatwick is the second largest airport in the UK, and numerous flights land from the Caribbean every day. Slow this one a little bit. Yes, sir. Thank you. Officers are observing passengers from a Trinidad and Tobago flight, and sniffer dog Lucy is using her sensitive nose to search for traces of drugs. A lone female passenger has caught the eye of officers. So she's pulled over in the customs channels to answer a few questions about her visit to the Caribbean. Do you know anybody out in Trinidad and Tobago? Do you have friends out there? Well, this is a friend there in Tobago. Oh, right, OK. So you stayed with him or her? Yeah. Is it a lady or a man? It's a man. A man, OK. Right. OK, so you've come back. These are all your bags, are they? This and this here? You know everything that's in these bags. You pack them yourself. Do you know but the woman starts to get upset because she's already had her bag searched in Trinidad and Tobago. Did you pay for your trip yourself? My friend paid for Oh, your friend who lives out there, is it? Okay. And I don't think he's a drug dealer. OK. Officer John is immediately alarmed by the woman's last comment. Do you use drugs or anything, or does your friend use drugs as far as you're aware? What do you mean drugs? Class A, what we call Class A, cocaine, heroin. I've never used any drugs. That's great. Right. Thank you for letting me. A swab test is carried out on the woman's suitcase. OK, wait me one moment. The test will show whether the woman has come into contact with any drugs on her visit to the Caribbean. come up as positive for contact with cocaine. So I'll ask the lady now if she can explain why that would be in her case. I'll just ask her a few more questions now. OK, madam, that machine test has come up positive for contact with cocaine. Is there any reason, as I say, ask again, do you use cocaine or does your friend use cocaine as far as you're aware? The woman gets tearful, which raises John's suspicions even further. But you don't use it, you're certain about that? No. OK. Well, because of that, I means I do need to have a turn it out and have a quick look inside it, OK? Don't worry, don't get upset. Don't worry. They put something in my bag. Well, let's see. How long have you known your friend? Not very long. OK. And how do you know him? Because From I met where? I him in London. He lived in London. And just moved there with a business and he looks like he's really having a business and he's a respected person. I don't know. Okay. Clearly, the woman doesn't know her male friend very well. John has further doubts about her story. Has he forced you to bring anything here? No. Are you sure? Because now's the time to let me know. He hasn't, he hasn't given me anything. Like, he hasn't told me anything to carry with him for him. Right, just have a quick scan through the x-ray. It's just at the end of the hall there, so if you just wait for me and have a look what I'm doing, you just stay there. She's tearful and she seems quite nervous. And she said one comment that got me a bit interested. She said, oh, God, I hope he hasn't put anything in my bag, which is an odd thing for somebody to say. The x-ray of the bag will show if the woman knows more than she's letting on. At Bristol Airport, holidaymakers have just arrived home from Fuerteventura. Although the Canary Islands are part of the European Union, passengers are strictly limited to bringing back no more than 200 cigarettes. A lone female passenger in a blue top has been observed acting nervously. Border agency officers decide to stop her as she passes through the customs channels. Hello, madam. Where have you just come from? Port Ventura. Port Ventura. Just have a quick chat for a second. Are you travelling on your own? Yes. Yes, where are you going back to now? Is this all your luggage? Yes. You packed it yourself? Yes. Are you carrying anything for anybody else? No. No? No. OK, you come down the green, nothing to declare, challenge. Do you yes. understand what your allowances are? About three, but you know. All oh, right, well, I'll tell you the allowance is 200 cigarettes. 200? That's what you'd like to bring back. I thought you'd bring the Spanish right back. No, no, to Spain. You, no, no. It's Spain, you can. For it to ensure it's not mainland Spain and is outside of the EU for tax purposes. Right. So you can only bring up 200 cigarettes or 250 grams of tobacco. So I take it that you've got in excess of your allowance? Yeah, I have been, yeah. Okay. The woman admits exceeding her allowance, 
But Officer Mark wants to see how many cigarettes she's carrying. So, do you actually know how many cigarettes you have all together, or are you not sure? I don't know whether you can count them on the way out, because you can't always get a silk hat. And no. I'm not sure whether they've still got any of them left. Well, anything you buy on its way, it loses its identity anyway, so it, it counts towards your allowance when you come back in again. With over 800 cigarettes in her hand luggage, the woman's naivety towards the restrictions doesn't convince. To be honest, I suppose you haven't back any cigarettes for ages, you know? I think that's the real fault, right? Have you got your, um, your passport on you there, please? The suitcase is searched for any remaining cigarettes. Thank you very much. If you could just bear with me a second, I'm just going to do a couple of checks, OK? Uh, you can put the clothing back in if you want to, but not the cigarettes. I'll be back in a second. Mark is pulled aside by a colleague searching another passenger. Suspiciously, her cigarettes are almost identical. Odd. Where are you going back to now? Home. Yeah, kind of guessed that a bit. Where's home? Um... Same area. There's a whole crowd of women travelling together. Oh, this right. lady says the bag doesn't belong to her. She's going to tell me where it is. Probably, yeah, it's the same area. Officers are starting to think there's a link between the passengers, but we'll have to investigate further. In Gatwick, a woman's suitcase is being x-rayed after it tested positive for the presence of cocaine. The case doesn't appear to have any concealments in it. It's very light. Nothing is found hidden in the suitcase, but Officer John isn't finished with the woman yet. How come my classes are reading if there is anything in there? Well, that's, that's what's intrigued me. That's what's intrigued me. The mystery behind the high cocaine trace means the search is taken to the next level. Now, as I say, I've had a look in your bag. I'm satisfied there's nothing in there. I'm quite happy about that. But sometimes people do bring in drugs on their body or inside their body. And what I'd like to do is to do a search, check, These my female colleague's going to do that, just to check to see that you're not carrying anything on your body. Because of the high reading and because of where you've come from, that's my concerns, OK? Despite the woman's tears, she's led away to have a strip search. Right, if you just want to take a seat for a minute, because I've just got some forms and stuff to fill out, all right? The woman's shoes are also taken away to be swab tested. Positive traces of drugs found from this test often suggest that the passenger is carrying drugs inside their body. That's quite a low reading for cocaine on the shoe, not anywhere near what was in the bag. And where she's come from, Trinidad and Tobago, then that maybe isn't an unreasonable background contamination. Nothing is found during the strip search, and John is happy she's not carrying anything illegal. Thank you very much for your patience with us, all right? We're happy there that um, you've got nothing, so you're free to go on your way as soon as you're ready. Thank you. The strip search is very invasive. We wouldn't do that for no reason whatsoever. That's quite a big thing, and obviously she was quite upset by that. We're not going to do a body scan unless it actually is justified, and in this instance, that wasn't warranted, so we didn't proceed to that. And I believe that she didn't have any prohibited or restricted goods on her this morning. Back in Bristol, an investigation is underway into whether two suspected cigarette smugglers are linked. That lady down there, yeah. is that bag that she's carrying yours? No. It's not yours? No, it's not. And you say you're travelling on your own, Yeah, right? I am. We know each other. I've oh, you, you do know her? Well, by sight sort of thing, you know, not one holiday with her. All right, then, if you just bear with me anyway, just okay. a few checks to do. Officer Mark goes to check whether the woman has a history of smuggling goods. So it was last um, year, Cardiff Airport, and 2006, so it must have been Season again from... The database reveals the woman has had goods seized on more than one occasion. Have you ever had problems with customs or border controls before? Have you had goods taken before? Seized? Yeah. You have? Yeah. OK, where was that or when was that? Um, yeah. Here? Well, in Bristol, yeah. here. Yeah, But you don't, know, you don't know how long ago? No, Roughly? No, I don't. I just haven't bought any duty-free back for a long time. But you had good seeds last year? 
last year? Yeah, Cardiff Airport. 2,000 cigarettes. Was it only last year? It was, yes. Well, and at the done. time, you had 2,000 cigarettes seized. So you must have known what the allowances were. You must yeah, have inquired why are you taking my cigarettes from I've me. I've been told that it's been, um, you know, that it's been changed now. Yeah, now who now. told you that? Well, the people out there that we, you know, can buy cigarettes from the shops. You don't think they might have told hold. you that to sort of sell you more yeah, cigarettes, probably, perhaps? Probably. But, probably. Uh, I mean, I know it's a relatively small amount, but obviously you are six times over the uh, over the limit. So. Uh... Whatever the truth, the woman is having her cigarettes seized yet again. I mean, I'm not saying it's a huge amount of cigarettes, but at the end of the day, she's got six times what is the allowance, and she's a previous offender. OK, those receipts from what I've had to take from you. Uh, and don't listen to what the people tell you in the shops. It's, uh... All right, then. Thank you for your time, anyway. Should we go? She knew the lady at the end down there that said that she wasn't travelling with her, and it, it begs the question, are they all travelling together and do all the goods belong to one person? But it, it doesn't matter because we've, we've seized the kids anyway. The passenger found with two and a half kilos of cocaine in his briefcase pleaded guilty and was sentenced to seven years in prison.